Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes. I'm calling about the five-piece luggage. It's a nine-piece. Ma'am, don't correct me and don't yell at me. There's no reason for that. Are you fucking serious? Hey, fuck! You call my fucking house for the deal. Hey, you tell that guy no, to shut no, the no, fuck no. up. You tell him to shut the I fuck up. Why don't you cut my fucking dick, you little horseback bill of fucking bastard? Oh, fuck you, motherfucker! You shut the fuck up. Get off my phone call. I mean, I'll, I'm just gonna keep flushing. Is it okay to flush puke down the toilet? You pay for the water, right? I put towels down. And I don't flush sand down the goddamn toilet. Do not flush those down the toilet. Thank you, Zombie Cat, for that intro song. Hi, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 613 for February 6, 2020. And this one's brought to you by Christine, Philia, Raiden Digital, Billy S, and Starkey. And, of course, thanks to the new supporters, Nico B, Ken R, and Brad. All of those people have access to the extra shows that I put out every single week at patreon.com slash phone losers. Did you know that Operation Lemon Drop is just a couple of months away? That's happening on April 18th. That's going to be a meetup in San Jose, California at the same place as last year. It's at the Round 1 Arcade Party Room, I guess. Maybe the Bowling Alley area. I don't know. I really doubt that I'm going to be there, but Dwight's going to be there. And I've heard Matt say he plans to go again. Laugh Track Matt. According to the Facebook page, Dom the Bomb's going to be there. And Nick Caesar again. And lots of other people. A bunch of others are interested. So who knows who's going to show up and how many people are going to be there. But I'll have a link to the Facebook planning page in the show notes if you want to take a look at that. It's only two and a half months away, so you should probably get prepared for that. And even if I don't make it, I'll definitely be sending Dwight some stickers, some PLA stickers and other garbage to hand out to everybody. I need to remind everybody that I have had nobody submit their grandma's phone number to me for the grandma challenge. That's the challenge where you give me your grandma's phone number and tell me what your name is. And I will impersonate you to your grandma and I will say all kinds of horrible things to her. And I will not let her know that it's a prank and it's just going to be awkward between you and your grandma forever. If anyone wants to take me up on that challenge, you can send your grandma's phone number to show at snowplowshow.com and I will forever make your Thanksgiving dinners awkward. That's the PLA guarantee. I have a list here that was sent to me almost a year ago from Mongolian Guy. I've been just scrolling through old submissions today. And this is a list from a dog park. I guess it's just like a neighborhood dog park, or maybe it's part of the Homeowners Association. I don't really know. I looked on a map, and there's a bunch of cul-de-sacs surrounding it. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, you know, dog park stuff. I could call and be from the dog park. I've got a list of names. It has their dog's names, what kind of dog they are. This could be fun, so let's call up some people at a dog park. This first one I'm going to try has two dogs, Buster and Bailey. They're both French bulldogs. Hello. Hello, Michael. Yes. Hey there, uh, it's Grega from the dog park. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, um, we've been getting complaints that Buster keeps eyeing people. Uh, we haven't been to the dog park. Yeah, I know, but like, last time you were there, we, we were just a little bit behind on the calls. Can you can you just let uh, let Buster know he can't be eyeing people like that? What do you mean eyeing people? I'm not familiar with the terminology. Well, you know, just uh, given, kind of given, given like a mad dog face, like uh, just, just, just kind of like trying to intimidate the other dogs and people, just just looking really? at him. How would you suggest? 
how would you suggest doing that? Uh, just talk to him, I guess. Be a better dog owner. <laughs> I got to tell you, this isn't a crank call, is it? Oh, no. No, of course not. I'm from the dog park. Well, I've never ever heard of that. Yeah, yeah. It's Hold just... on a second. Let me put you on speaker. For what? For what reason? Because I can't believe that a person would complain about a dog, mad dog, you know, looking at him. Well, you know, he's just intimidating him. Well, that's because your dog's being intimidating. Just, just Buster is not Bailey. When was the last time we were at the dog park? A hell if I know. At least two weeks. Yeah, at least two weeks. Yeah. See, see, it's not that long ago. You're acting like it's been years. Can can you put Buster on the hey. phone? Can you put Buster on the phone hey. real quick? Real quick. No, can't do that. Why not? He's busy. He's watching TV now. Buster is? Yeah. Sir, I'm not stupid. Dogs dogs don't watch TV. Oh, yeah. This one's a smart dog. I doubt it. If he was smart, he wouldn't need to act like that and like try and bully everybody. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll have a, I'll have a, me, a Jesus meeting moment with him. I'll talk to him about okay. that. Okay. All right. Hey, Buster. Buster. Hey, Buster. 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 Look over here. Buster. Buster. Is he in there? You know what you did? What? He, he just he just pooted when you talked to him. Oh, he probably like gave me uh you know just snake eyes like just eyed me. Gave the, oh, the phone a he look. Pooted. Uh, he pooted instead. Oh, cool. I hope you have to clean it up. No, it's it's a fart. Oh, pooted. Okay, sorry. I don't understand your baby terminology. He's so smart. He cleans his own poop. Yeah, hey, lady, why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> All right. You've had your fun. Yep. Thank you very much. I love you. Have a good day. Love you. Love you, too. Bye, honey. All right, off to a great start. Next, we're giving Mel a try. She has a terrier. Pretty sure this list's spelled terrier wrong. There's no O in terrier. Hello, Mel. Speaking. Hey Mel, uh, it's it's Grega from the dog park. From okay. the, the dog park. Okay. Um, we've had some complaints that you keep walking around there, like winking your butthole at people, and that's something we kind of discourage here at the dog park. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you please repeat that? Uh, we just have gotten several people telling us that when you're there with your dog, you've been winking your butthole at people. And we just want to uh, ask you to nicely to please not do that. I don't think you have the right person. I haven't been there with my dog or my wife in probably two months or three months. Yeah, but I'm just calling about the last time you were there. It's like complaints have been stacking up and we get to the serious ones first and then work our way down and we're just down to yours. It's not a really big deal. It's just... We're just asking you to please not wink your butthole at people when you're at the dog park. Winking my butthole? Yes. Is this a scam? What are you talking about? What kind of scam would it be? I don't know. All right. Well, Like I say, sense. the last time I was there with our dog was over two or three months ago. Yeah, and like I say, please don't wink your butthole at people. Okay. You're not in and trouble. You're like you don't I'm have telling to you, don't wink your butthole at my face. That that doesn't make sense at all. Well, like, your phone call to me right at this moment doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, you don't have to pretend you didn't do it. Just please stop doing it. That's all. Oh, fine. I will stop. I haven't been there in three months, over two months, and you're telling me that I did something. When I didn't do anything, and you don't have to be all so, combative about it, just just stop doing it. That's all. Like it's you're you're taking this personally. I mean, it's common sense. You don't go to the dog park and wink your butthole at people. Wink my butthole. So you admit it. What did he say? Don't wink your butthole at my face or something. That was a good one. I think I'm just gonna tell someone to stop being a motherfucker. I haven't done that in a while. You know, it's been like an entire month or so since I've done that. 
Hello. Hello, Evelyn. Yes. Hey, uh, this this is Grega from the dog park. From the dog park? Yeah, from the dog park. Okay, I hear you. Yes. Okay. Hey, um, they were wanting me to call you up and ask you to to stop pooping with your dog. What are you talking about? We haven't even been to the dog park in months and months. That's, Please tell me that's, what you're talking that's about. That's what everybody says. No, like the last time you were here, though, you were pooping with your dog. Like you were pooping also alongside your, your dog. And the dog park is just for humans. I mean, just for dogs to, to poop. Are you kidding me? you got to be kidding me. This has to be a crank call. I'm going to get in touch with the people in authority with the dog park. Ma'am. Because you have to be out of your mind. Ma'am. This is obscene and absurd. Ma'am. What's e- your name again? I want to know your name again right now. It's Grega. And ma'am, even if Grega? you... Grega? E- e- is is you, that your last e- name? Hold on a minute. Wait even, a minute, Grega. Even, oh, even, wait a minute, even, Grega. Don't e- go. E- even, even if you pick it up, you know, after you poop, it's still kind of gross. And people don't need to be walking by and seeing that. Please don't do it again. Who is this? This is Grega from the dog park, from the dog park. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's your function at the dog park? Well, hey, don't worry about it. I'm just making the phone calls today. But um, like Evelyn, you know, she, last time she was here, she was pooping with the dog, with little buddy. And could you ask her, yeah. can you ask her not to do that? Like out in public like that? What did she do with the dog? She she was like squatting down on the ground and, and pooping with the dog. Oh yeah, I, is this Dennis? I'm sorry. Is this Dennis? Dennis who? Dennis who? Dennis from Cal- uh, Florida? <laughs> no, no, I'm from the dog park. You're not from the dog park. Of course I am. <laughs> Why would I say that I'm from the dog park if I'm not? Because you're trying to pull some, some kind of a spoof. I don't know. What, what's she saying there in the background? Is, is this Dennis? No, it's not Dennis. Who is Dennis? I want to know your real name. It's, 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 it has to be a joke. So I want to know who you are. Stop kidding now. This is ridiculous. This is Grega. <laughs> what's her Grega? That's my name, Grega. It's G-R-E-G-G. Dennis, when you get home, you're gonna you're gonna put your pinky in the pencil sharpener, and you're gonna be sorry. Oh yeah, I'd like to see you fucking make me try, lady. <laughs> Best laugh I had all day. Goodbye. He all right. <laughs> what? Oh man, that that Dennis, he's gonna get it when he gets home. And I know I said I was gonna call her a motherfucker, but I like I don't know. Just something about her voice. She sounded too frail for me. I need to get a more feisty woman before I tell her to stop being a motherfucker. Hopefully this next lady will be feisty. Her name's Vicky. She has a dog named Chase. By the way, Evelyn's dog's name was Little Buddy. Isn't that cute? The number you have called, 615 is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the time. All right. She has her husband making the message for her. Good for you, Vicky. Next, we've got Chris. He's got two dogs. Hello, this is Chris. Hi, Chris. Uh, th- this is Grega from the dog park. Hi. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. That's good to hear. How How's little Mongo and Bob? Wonderful. That's Just th- wonderful missing you guys. Aw, we miss you too. Um, but I heard that you're coming out. Yeah, I got an email. I'm gay. Oh, I'm sorry. What? The email? Yeah, oh, I the, got an email. I thought you meant something else. I'm sorry. Oh no, I got an email that you guys you were coming out. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're coming out any day now. Probably uh, this weekend. <laughs> Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Well, we will be home. Oh, we're not going to see you though. We got better things to do. Oh, we're going to go do tourist. That's okay too. We're going to go do touristy stuff. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be so much I more bet. fun. <laughs> You're going to have a wonderful time. I bet, yeah. No, I'm kidding. We'll come see you. Thank you. Okay. 
I, you sounded sad, so I, I can't do that to you anymore. <laughs> no, I thank you. Anytime is fine. Okay. Hey, um, when we get out there, like, uh, they have those marijuana stores, right? Do you, do you just walk in and just buy the marijuana? Um, I haven't seen one, but I'm sure they do. Okay. All right. We're going to get marijuana and me and you, we're going to get fucked up. Okay, baby. I'm in. All right. It's going to be great. My drug of choice is Chardonnay, though. That's the only thing. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to do marijuana and hard drugs. Ugh. All right, what the hell? All right, it's I'm a deal. old. How many brain cells could I really have left anyway? Yeah, we're practically dead anyway. That's right. All right, so um, it's been great talking to you. You too. I'm going to go masturbate. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye, honey, baby. I love you. Bye. Love you. Goodbye. I don't know who she was, but I think she thinks I'm a member of the dog park, not an actual dog park person. And that was great how she giggled when I said I was going to go masturbate. She liked that one. Hello? Hello, Will? Yeah? Hey there, it's Grega from the dog park. Yeah. Um, They wanted me to give you a call because I guess we've had a few complaints. Um, Whenever you're here, you've been being kind of a motherfucker. What are you talking about? I haven't been there for months. I know that, but last time you were here, um, there was just several people that let us know that you were being kind of a motherfucker, and we have a strict policy against motherfuckery. So just like I don't know who you are, or what you're talking about. It, it, this is Greg from the dog park. Yeah, who do you think you're talking to? Is this Will? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they they've just been saying that you've been being kind of a motherfucker whenever you come to the park. I don't know where you get that out here. I haven't been for months, and I usually just sit there and don't say much of anything to anybody. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but, you know, e- even though it's been a few months, um, whenever you are here, you're being kind of a motherfucker. Well, what is that supposed to mean? You know, just in general, just being kind of a motherfucker. What does that mean? Be specific. Well, um, I think that's... Pre- I don't know who you are anyway. I've never heard of Greg at the dog park. It's greg There's two G's. I never heard of you either. Three, technically. Anyway, yeah, just please stop being a, such a motherfucker when you're here. That, Why don't you say what you're talking about? Give me an example. That's very specific, I think. You just can't. No, I don't think it is at all. I think you're full of crap. I don't think you're from the dog park that I go to. What dog park are you talking about? Uh, dog park. And who who are you with them? Uh, my name is Greg. I do kind of some of the administrative stuff here. And they, uh-huh. they wanted me to give you a call and ask you to stop being such a motherfucker. Well, I don't know what that means. I thought they keep making this thing up because you can't give me an example. I've not been there for months, and whenever we were, I was there, I was pleasant everybody, everybody's pleasant to me. Well, yeah. So I don't know what you're talking about. You can be pleasant and still be being a motherfucker, and we have a strict what policy. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means that you're not supposed to be a motherfucker. That's what does all- that mean? It means stop being a motherfucker. I don't know how much... I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I only believe you're from the dog park. That's so straightforward. Just don't be a motherfucker. Hello? Hey, Will. Th- this is Greg, Greg again. I'm, I'm sorry. I-, I was looking at the wrong paperwork for you. Uh, you no were, kidding. You weren't being a motherfucker. You were being, <laughs> you were being a son of a bitch. Go to hell. He was so relieved there for a split second. Thought he was off the hook. Oh, man, these are fun. Thanks, Mongolian guy, for this list. I can't believe I didn't get to this back when you sent it. Uh, I definitely want to ask some more people to stop pooping. Only the dogs are allowed to poop in the grass. Hello? Hello, Leslie? Yes? Hey there, Uh, this is Greg from the dog park. Yes, hi, how are you? Pretty good, how you been doing? I'm fine, we're out to dinner with some friends here in... Oh, okay, so you're not at home right now? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, I don't. This is kind of a sensitive subject. Um, they were wanting me to ask you, just let you know that the dog park, uh, only the dogs are allowed to poop on the ground. Oh, I have not been to the dog park in probably since like September. I know, but last time you were there, you were pooping on the ground with your dog, and you can't do that. Who is this? This is Grega from the dog park. 
What is your last name, sir? Gersperms. I have never pooped on the ground. Me. This, this is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. We're, we're, it's, you're not in any trouble or anything. Just please don't poop on the ground with your dog. I, it, I have never. I mean, I know, I know this is a joke. It's not a joke, and I know it probably. What what month was this, sir? I was. It was way way back. Uh, it's in the end of summer. I'm going to hang up now because this this is ridiculous. Okay, where are you guys eating and at? I- where are you guys eating at tonight? She actually told the people she was eating with that we're accusing her of pooping at the dog park. You know, this list is kind of huge, and I feel like I'm going to have to use it up just as quickly as possible because I think they're going to tell their members pretty quickly that somebody's doing this. Hello? Hi, Linnea? Yes, Paul. Hey there, it's Greg from the dog park. Yes, hi. 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 Um, we were needing to update our records on one of your dogs on Dewey. Yes, uh-huh. Is he there right now? Yes, he is. Okay, could you put Dewey on the phone for me? My Dewey, my dog? Yes, just hold the phone up to okay. his ear. Just need, okay, need to get on. some information. Dewey. Let me know when you do. Ooh. Is he supposed to do something? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know you h- had done that yet. Can you put it up to his ear now? I just, I didn't know that you'd already done that. Yeah. Okay, he's there. Okay. Who's a good boy? Who's the good boy? You're the good boy, Dewey. Yes, you are. You are a good boy, Dewey. You're the good boy. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess, uh, yeah. yeah. Is Are you back on the phone? Yes, I am. All right. Everything looks good here. I'll go ahead and update the records, and we'll talk to you next time you're here, I guess. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a very nice day. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, 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 hey. That's your mom. What's wrong with you? You see medicine center? Maybe. She must have got his bone. They see the bone down there. Darn, they hung up. I was hoping they would talk about what an unusual phone call that was. But it kind of sounded like I got their dog all excited or something. She had to yell at him. That Dewey's a wild one. Like, why would she not question that at all? Just puts him on the phone and then says thank you. That's it. Completely normal thing to happen. Hello. Hello, Barb. Yes. Hey there, this is Greg uh, from the dog park. Oh, hi, Greg. How are you? Pretty good. Um, They wanted me to give you a call and just remind you that only the dogs are allowed to poop on the ground at the dog park. <laughs> okay. So you need to not do that anymore. That's kind of gross. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll remember that. Thank All right. you. Thank you so much bye. for your understanding. Just please, uh, no more bye. of that. Goodbye. You know, overall, this list of people, they don't get really upset. They just kind of enjoy themselves and think I'm funny. Gotta love people like this. Hello? Hello, Charles? Yes. Hey, it's Greg from the dog park. Yeah. Hey there. Um, We found out recently that you were the, the person wearing that superhero outfit at the dog park and throwing dog poop on the people that didn't pick up after their dogs. I'm and, sorry, I don't know. Uh, what are you saying? Oh, I, I'm just saying we can't have that. We can't have you doing that here. You can't. You got you got the wrong man, mister. Oh, no, we know it was you. It's it's fine. I, I, I you know, personally, I think that was a good thing you did. But what did I do? You, you were um, dressing up as a superhero, 
and then picking up dog poop from people that didn't oh, pick no, up. Oh no, I wasn't. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. And you were throwing dog poop at the dog's owners when they didn't pick it up. I was not. No, look, you're you're not in any. T- I convinced them not not to kick you out. So everything's fine. You can kick me out. I don't want to be a part of something like that because I am not. There's no. I don't even go to the dog park about once every month. Sir, yeah, I know, but like you've been dressing up as a superhero and. No, I haven't dressed up as anything. And, and we 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 made a positive. What is your name? What's your name? This is Grega. Who? Grega. Grega. Yes, from the dog park. And look, you, you don't have to get upset. You're not in any trouble, and you're you're not going to. I'm, get... I'm not. I'm going to get. I'm going. What is your name? I'm sorry, I don't get it. Grega. It's like Greg, but with two G's. G R E G G. Grega. What's your last name? Gersberms. What? Gersberms. All right. Spell that, please. No, come on. Just like I'm, I'm just calling to tell you to, to ask you to please not do I'm that again. I'm going to tell you something, Mister. I'd like to meet you face to face, and I'd like to meet whoever said I was dressed up. At, I'm a 79, eight year old man, and I'm not going to dress up as no damn superhero to do anything. And yeah. I haven't thrown anything at anybody. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I was. Stupidest. Th- that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's what I was thinking. You seem like you're way too old to be doing stuff like this. So you just need to stop. Well, I am too old to do it. And it, uh, whoever, I'd like to have the names of whoever said I did it, because well, I'll sue the shit out of. Listen, them. we have security cameras. We know it was you. You don't have to pretend you you're didn't bullshit. do it. You're oh, bullshit. You're full of shit. You don't have to pretend you didn't do it. Just please don't do it again. You're crazy as hell, mister. I don't know who you are. I'll find out who you are, and I'm going to have somebody come see you. Because well, I, I haven't done anything. I, that's a, that's a, that's a low, I, I can't imagine anybody accusing me of doing that. You don't have security cameras or anything at the dog park. Oh, yes, we do. Like, we, you just don't see them. They're not like big old security cameras like in your day. They're like little tiny cameras. What dog park are you talking about? The dog park. You're crazy as hell, mister. What? Was that the wrong answer? I don't know what your I don't know what your problem is or what where you got who who put you up to this, but nobody uh, put me up to I it. If I find out, sir, if do, I find out, I'll be talking to a lawyer. Sir, like you, you can't just keep doing this is what I'm saying. Just please don't do it again. That's all. Just don't do it again. <laughs> You're full of shit. <laughs> okay. Says the guy throwing shit at people. Have you guys seen that video? Let me see if I can find this on YouTube. I'm going to search for dog poop superhero. This guy dresses up as a superhero. I don't know if he has a superhero name. And he goes up behind some guy that didn't clean up after his dog and picks up the poop and throws it at the guy. There he is walking up behind him. I don't know what language he's speaking. There's the guy chasing him. And the guy laughing. He's in this insane superhero outfit. I'll try to remember to put a link to this in the show notes. Oh man, look at this. There, there's like recommended videos after this. Like, woman won't clean up after her dog. Now I want to just watch these on YouTube. Let's listen to a confrontation from 2013. Do you need a bag for that? For the poop? You alright? They're over there. They're in that thing. You gotta pick it up. No, I'm not. It's a fine. I'm not. You mind your own and pick up your dog shit. This guy's too afraid to hold his phone up and film her. He's just filming the ground. No, I'm not. Mind your own business. I'm not. I'm going to call the manager. They will. I agree with the lady. Mind your own business. But anyway, let's call up a few more people. Maybe tell them to stop confronting people at the dog park with their cell phones. Hello? Hello, uh, Cindy? Yeah? Hey there, it's Greg uh, from the dog park. Oh, yeah. Hi, Greg. What's up? 
Uh, it's Grega. Um, they wanted me to give you a call. Like they know that you're the one that was dressing up in the superhero outfit and throwing dog poop on people. That didn't. No, I was not. No, who in the hell told you that? No, we 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 um we we installed some cameras to figure out who it was. And look, you're not. You can get all the cameras you want. I was not the person doing that. Okay. I haven't been to the dog park except maybe three times, and that's it. I know, man. So I don't know who. The, you bet. If you're going to accuse me of that, you damn well better send me that film. Listen, man. And then I will be suing somebody for look, slander because that was not me. Personally, I am. I am just. I think it's awesome what you did because people do need to clean up after wow. their dogs. So, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah. Ma'am? 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 Ma'am, did you not hang up your phone properly? Ma'am? She's still on the line. I don't know what she's doing. Probably getting her superhero outfit and putting it on. Coming over to kick some ass. Four, four, three, three. Hello? It's just some phone still going. Cindy? How do I shoot people? Are you still there? Yes, ma'am. I'm still here. I, I was trying to trying to just tell you that I, I, I really appreciated what you did. Like, I think it's great, but we just can't have people doing are that. You, I don't know who the hell you are, but I don't think this is funny. No, I'm not trying to be... I don't think this is funny at all. And how do I shut this damn thing off? Shut what damn thing off? The phone? Wow, she didn't know how to shut the phone off. I wanted to tell her she was a hero around the office. Everyone thought she was great. Like, finally, someone takes a stand. But she's not having it. She's going to sue us for slander and everything else. Wow, that really pisses people off. More than accusing them of pooping on the ground. Hello? Hello, Brenda? Yes? Hey there, it's Grega from the, the dog park. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Um, they just wanted me to call you and let you know that we know it was you that was throwing dog pe poop at people that didn't pick up after their dogs. What? <laughs> and, and you can't be doing that, ma'am. <laughs> You're joking, right? Oh, no, I wouldn't joke about this. We, we know it was you. you. You dressed up in a superhero outfit, I guess, to, <laughs> to, prove, <laughs> to prove a point. <laughs> But ma'am, ma'am, you can't just go around. That's basically assault. You can't do that. <laughs> no. No, I don't think you, that is allowed. <laughs> yeah. Could, so so can you agree not to do that anymore, please? <laughs> yes. I oh. will never do that again, Greg. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for being understanding. Like. <laughs> Really, just leave the superhero outfit at home entirely <laughs> when you come to the dog park. Oh, Greg, what is your last name? Uh, Gersperms. <laughs> You're joking, right? Oh, no, no, I'm not kidding. We know, yes, you are. We know it was you, <laughs> and you just can't be doing that. It's, you know, it's, people need to feel safe at the dog park and i i agree with you personally i think it's a good thing that you did that you're basic you're basically a hero to us all here but, no. but you just can't do that you know that's yeah that's something that's, we'll, we'll, that's really that's, that's very not it's not very not no. yeah we'll we'll take care of it you, you just don't worry okay. about it we do our best okay you don't need to be throwing things at people and youtube in it no no, I will not do that anymore. Okay. I actually did not, did not realize I had done it at all, but if you say so. Yeah, of course, sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, keep fighting the good fight, just, you know, not in our dog park, please. Okay, all right. I hope you have a nice night. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Um, give Lucy Lou kisses for me. <laughs> I will. Okay. All right. Tell tell her she's a good girl. She is a good girl. I know. Although she's cracked my, one of my ribs. Oh, what a what a bitch. Yes, Lucy has crap 
cracked my sixth rib uh, yes, jumping on me. Uh, yes. I'd, I'd crack hers back. <laughs> it was an accident. Since, since you're individual any justice, I think you'd want to yeah, n- do that. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. Okay. Anyway, I got to get going, you know. Okay. Got stuff to do here. <laughs> okay. Have a nice night. All right. Have, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. Cracked her rib. And that's a Jack Russell Terrier, I think. It, it cuts off on this spreadsheet. I can't see all of it. It says Jack Russell slash something. Oh, Jack Russell slash Beagle Mix. Oh, okay. I guess that could be sort of a large-ish dog. Not that large, though. Shouldn't be cracking ribs. Not so large that you couldn't get revenge on it for doing something like that. Uh, Anyway, that's the last person I can get to answer, so I think I'm going to end today's show. I had a lot of fun accusing people of being superheroes and telling them to stop pooping in the grass. And I'm going to have to do some more with this list very soon because, let's see, um, I I basically did one-third of the directory. There's still two-thirds of the directory left, plus the people who didn't pick up tonight, which is a lot of them. I really didn't get a hold of that many people at all. So I need to hurry up and do some more of these before neighbors start talking and emails start going out. Hopefully that doesn't happen before I get to these again. Hey, Brad. It's Rex in Jerusalem. Hello. So I was looking at episode 461 just now. And no joke. So we have a... uh, We have a cat that lives on our street that comes to our door and is buddies with our dog, and we named it Skittles. Mm -hmm. And no joke, as soon as you said Skittle in that podcast as I was listening to it, the cat jumped out and greeted me. Then he said it again, and I accidentally kicked the cat when it was in front of me. So I think that maybe we have some sort of psychic connection here, and I just really, you know... That must be it. Like, I don't want to leave my wife for you, but... um, I think there's something special between us and it needs to be looked into further. So Yeah, that that would be my suggestion. <sighs> Call me. I don't remember ever saying the word Skittles, but what else could it be? Hi Brad. Calling from Charleston, South Carolina. Um, Hello. I'm calling with a suggestion because I know you love those, but when you call people and tell them that um you're changing their phone number mm-hmm. and they ask you to change it back, I would say something like there's a carrier restriction on the frequency that you can change the phone number or something to make it sound real legitimate as to why you can't change it back. I yeah. feel like that's going to make them even more pissed off. Um, anyway, just something like that. That's an important Love detail to put into those calls. Or I could just say I'm new and I don't know how. Hey, Brad. It's Deep in the Heart, Texas. Hey. Uh, okay, pretty brief. Uh, the start of your recent Did you say you're going to keep it brief, and this is in a minute and a half long voicemail? Episode, I, fuck, I forget what the number is. I'm kind of driving right now. 609. Uh, the guy sounds like Donald Trump. He's just kind of funny. He has that, like, kind of Does sort he? of a similar sort of tone in India. I don't remember episode 609. We're all the way up to 613 uh, now. Also, uh... But, you know, this voicemail is uh, a couple weeks old. I wanted to ask, um... Uh, since I guess you can't understand a lot of my voicemails are like the recent thing. I, let me just ask this. Um, you mentioned about like some lady who listened on like on one of your uh, prank phone calls or like or helped with it. Laugh track Rachel or something along those lines. Uh, I hope you can hear me. I hope the mic is close enough. To I hear you. But, uh, Sound great. Yeah. What hobo soda is that? Um, also, oh, man, I'm still seeing issues with the Patreon and, G- and Gmail. And the Here, lo- let me search for you. Laugh Track Rachel is hobo sode number 161 from February 24th of last year. There you go. Hey, uh, they're not sending out notifications whenever your hobo sodes released, but whenever regular show is. Oh, no. Uh, weirdly enough, uh, this also happened for Super Phone Bros. I can't find anything saying about, like, uh, about them, you know, whenever their shows are being released. But I don't even know if they're doing shows anymore. And uh, Probably not. Yeah, it's weird. And yet, like... If it's like the dick show, I can see all that going on. So, you know, like if there's a bonus episode, all sorts of stuff like that. But not for Snow Plow Show and the like. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's anybody else. All right. See ya. Neither. Uh, I don't know. If I can hang up and not. Nobody's complained. Is everybody getting their hobo so notifications? Hopefully you are. Hey, it's the Serial Fisher. Hey. And I'm going to ask you a question that you have probably been asked a million times. But what do you consider to be your greatest? prank call of all time. Oh, man, just I don't curious. know. Just curious. I mean, you don't have to be like, I mean, just, just off the top of your head, what stands out? 
Yeah. Uh, bye bye. I don't know. Probably something that I put in the the best of playlist on the youtube.com slash phone losers of america and two of them i can think of is the who's a good boy i love the lady at the um pet co who seems to think that she really does have a robot dog there and does all the reset steps for me just because it's so ridiculous and maybe that lady who was jumping up and down and singing twinkle twinkle little star because she thought i was trapped behind her wall that one was kind of bizarre and i like that one I don't really know how to pick the greatest one, though. It's like picking my favorite kid. You can't pick your favorite kid. Hey, Dumpster Love. It's Brad. Hey, Brad. Hey, I was just going to say, I really miss uh, HOA pranks. If you could do some of those soon. Okay. okay. Love you. I'll try to do that. You know, I think this this dog park list I'm doing, I think they're in an HOA area. I think I saw that mentioned on the dog park website. So I'll look into that. Maybe I can kind of use that to hurry up and finish up this list before it goes bad. Hey, Brad. It's Nick from North Dakota. Hey, he called Nick. me a big loser for not hanging out with friends on a Saturday night. Yep, that's you. Last voicemail. But one thing I do want to say, and I feel like this is really important. Brutal is, honesty is very important for character building, so you're welcome. That I've, when I first started listening to you, I was just following the Phone Losers of America page, and I would just listen to the individual prank calls. However, I recently just found the Snowplow show where it was all the prank calls and then, you know, an hour-long episode. So I really think that you should advertise that, you know, um, on the Phone Losers of America page with, like, the individual prank calls. Are you talking about the YouTubes? Not the page, but the YouTube? I think that's what you're talking about. I think you should advertise that, hey... We have a snowplow show, which is an hour-long segment of these print calls. I because should. You know, weirdest thing, I actually put out a new video on the Phone Losers of America page yesterday, and you left this voicemail this morning. You must have not heard it, but I actually did that. I'm like, hey, I do a, a show, several shows per week. You should listen to those. I said that, you know, after the prank call was over. So I'm one step ahead of you. Ever since I listened to the snowplow show, a big loser. Know, it just changed my life. Oh. Turn my life around. And uh, yeah, I think you should advertise that more because I listened to Phone Losers of America for about two to three years without even realizing that there was a snowplow show. Holy shit. Thanks. Bye. I always put that title card over the videos too that says this call was taken from the snowplow show. Don't you watch the videos? Don't you watch those still images that I put on top of the pranks? I thought everybody watched those. I'm just kidding. I know nobody watches those. But I try. I, I guess I just need to try harder at alerting people that the Snowplow Show exists. Because there's like 30,000 subscribers on there. I need all 30,000 of them to become Snowplow Show listeners. Hey, Brad. Strange Orange here. A longtime listener, fourth time caller. Uh, mm -hmm. I messed up my last voicemail, so I just made it long so you wouldn't play it. Anyways, hey, uh, I was listening to your show, episode 612, uh, the phone number swapping episode. And you played my voicemail where I was testing out my new phone. And uh, I just want to let you know, it is a OnePlus 7T. Um, OnePlus is the brand, 7T is the model, and oh, my carrier okay. is AT&T. Anyways, I uh, love your show, Yay. Brad. Uh, thank you very much. I uh, love you, and bye. I'm not going to look that up or anything, but thanks. It still sounds great. I'm too much of a hobo to upgrade my phone. I'm going to stick with my Motorola G6. Hey, Brad. It's like three years old at this point. Uh, this is Axe. Ignore that last message. I had an idea for you. When my mom was a preschool teacher and her kids used to give her trouble, she'd say, we get what we get and we don't throw a fit. So that might be a good thing to add in. Maybe when someone gets mad about you changing their number, you just say, we get what we get and we don't throw a fit. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Okay. Treat people like preschoolers. What a great idea. I'm actually writing that on a post-it right now. I'm going to put it on my monitor and hopefully I can work that into a prank soon. And I'm going to delete your last message because you gave me permission to. Oh my god, here's like three people in a row now have left two messages. One right after the other. Hey Brad, okay, second voicemail, or maybe you'll put this on a different show, which I kind of hope you do. Yeah, guess what? I'm not playing the other one. Um, but I'm making these really cool, like one of a kind, I'm only going to make one of each, um, like signs for the shows that you do. So we'll have one for the hobo out. Um, one for, you know, Mr. Davalino's wonderful world of prank calls. Um, but I'm going to be donating uh, proceeds, whatever I make off of them. I'm going to donate uh, a certain amount to the Australian wildfires. So I just wanted to let everyone kind of know about that. I'm going to be posting it in the PLA group on Facebook. 
Um, it's okay. going to be like hand painted and really, really cool. I'm already working on it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because it's going to go to charity. Um, I don't know. I have these cool signs and I'm like, I should do something with these. And I was like, oh, you know what? This will help. So I wish I knew what you're talking about. A sign? I guess I'll go look in the Facebook um, thing. Just kind of keep an eye out for it. And um, yeah. Okay, Grandma. Uh, at this point, are you my grandpa? Are you my mom? I think it's just you're my mother on Facebook. I don't even know what you are to me anymore. I don't know. But I still love you, and my cats are fighting. I love you. All right. Bye. Since you love me, I won't delete your other voicemail. I'll save it for some other show, I guess. Only because it's shorter, though. Hey, this is Johnny from California, and I suggest that you should call people and tell them that there isn't enough supercharger, so you're going to be putting a supercharger, like, right next to them, or even on their lawn. Yeah. Or take up their backyard. In the middle of their lawn. Okay, thank you. Got to expand that Tesla supercharger network. King Richard does stuff like that. He tells people he's going to put Amazon lockers in their yards and in their driveways or voting booths or whatever. And they all get upset. They're like, not in my driveway. I need my Brad, driveway. How's it going? Great. Get, uh, Punk Queen. Hey. Again. I hey. just want to say what's up. Uh, hey, hey. Not much. That's pretty much it, guys. Oh. Listening to voicemails, um, you know. It's in the... I'm sending it. What? Right after I uh, posted something in the what? The, the main uh, the chat room. I'm really high right now. <laughs> something about I'm, chat I'm rooms? Sorry. I don't know. Brad, um, I can't wait to hear you chat. I think punk weed little shit. You shouldn't be doing that. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, you should talk louder. Thanks for the voicemail. Here's a voicemail that is 25 seconds of complete silence from area code 918. Whoever you were, you forgot to unmute or something. Right. Hey, RBCP. Uh, thanks for the stickers you sent. I love the new sticker designs. You're so welcome. So anyways, I was listening to Snowplow Show 607, and right before the show was over, this chick called me, and she's like, who's this? And I'm like, well, who's this? She called me. It's like, no, you called me. And I, I stopped for a second, like a split second. I was like, oh, shit. Did I actually try to call someone from my personal cell phone? I was like, no, I didn't. And I just went on to explain, oh, no, it's a scammer. They must have spoofed my numbers. But I wish I would have just, like, fucked with her. Like, oh, my daughter, she's the next prank phone call. She's going to have a word with her or something yeah. like that. Well, yeah, it's fun to tell people to call, but then spoof damn scammers. All right, bye. Maybe I accidentally spoofed your number when I was calling people. Who knows? I think that's it for today's show. I still have some voicemails left in here. Holy shit, three in a row from Butthole Winker 34. What the hell, Butthole Winker 34? What are you doing? One after the other? What's with everyone leaving several voicemails in a row? Anyway, thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Christine, Philia, Raiden Digital, Billy S., and Starkey. Thanks to them, I am doing a show right now instead of playing GTA. Thank you very much for the motivation. And if you'd like to motivate me to do more shows, you should support the show by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash support. There's several ways to support the show. Please do one of them, any of them. I don't care which one. It would definitely help out, though, with paying off my thousands of dollars of restitution caused by making prank calls. See you next time, everyone. Here's some Rappy McRapperson, or I'm sorry, excuse me, Ghost Rappy. Not Rappy McRapperson, he's Ghost Rappy now. A business of their own that makes them money. There's no butthole looking out the windows in this place.